what's up lt squad it's your girl alicia and you know that i am back in the building back in the building back in the building watch the road we don't need no accidents because we already had one at work yes so as y'all can see by the title i got hurt at work it wasn't a big, 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 big deal, but I'm going to just tell y'all what happened. So a lot of y'all that do watch my videos and keep up with me and follow me on Instagram, follow me on um, TikTok and um, um, yeah, but um, I hurt my hand at work. It was my left hand. It's okay now. Y'all can see like the little skin peeled off right there and that little mark right here and then on the side it's still a little sore but i can move it i can bend it i didn't break anything so just here a few days ago i was at work and i was using the lift to get ready to pick up a container and um it was a really tight fit where i where I had to like kind of go sideways with the lift into the area and I had to keep maneuvering the lift over, 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 over. Well, I was going this way. I was going right. So when I moved it over a little bit, I tried to use one of the levers to turn it. And when I turned it, see, we hold the levers like this. Like my thumb is like this. Thumbs are like this and it's pushing. And um, my hands are to the side. As you can see, like my hands are kind of like side, the side of it. So when I was pushing the lever, I used this one over here to push forward, which is gonna make the front end of the lift go this way. So when it went, go right. So when it went right, my left hand was sitting on the side, on the left side, and it pushed it up against the wall. So when it pushed it up against the wall, at that point I realized, dang, my hand stuck. But I wasn't too, you know, shooken up about it because I felt like I could get my hand out. It was no big deal. Well, I tried to turn it. I tried to push with this one and tried to turn it left. And I'd be damned if it didn't like push my hand more further and deeper into the wall. So at this point, my hand is getting numb. I got this camera angled up so crazy, but y'all can see me. Y'all can hear me. So, okay, yeah. So, at this point, my hand is getting numb now. So, I started crying like, I was crying like a baby. I was really crying because I'm like, I'm going to lose my hand. I'm going to have only one hand. And what I'm going to do with one hand. But yeah, no, when I, I was crying, I was crying for I'm not playing about that part. I was crying because I'm looking around. There ain't nobody around to help me. And even if there was somebody around to help me, they wouldn't know what to do because they don't know how to use that lift. I'm sitting up here thinking I'm dying. Uh, I'm dying. My head about to fall off. And shit, trying to tell them how to use the lift. They want to know what to do. I would have been confused, frustrated. Everything I've probably been yelling at them people don't even know them. But yeah, so finally I came to a little bit of my sense. Now every time my head done try to turn it this way or that way, remind you, it's putting more pressure on my hand and it's dragging it up against the wall. The back of my hand was dragging up against the wall. So I'm so surprised that this is the part that got skinned up versus this part. It's, and that's kind of weird because like this part was dragging up against the wall. This part is the part that got skipped up and on the side. Now, all this dragging up against the wall, nothing they had. That had to be God. But in any ways, so the last thing I did when I came to, to my sense and got my thoughts together, I pushed the middle on the side. There's some, like, there are some levers on the side. So I pushed the middle one, and this is to close the lift in. So... I pushed that and it closed the lift in. But when it closed the lift, it dropped my hand down the wall and ripped out a chunk of the wall, like on the edge of the wall. Cause I was like, 
I was like up against the wall, but then it had that little edge part. The little edge part that if you got nobody to scratch your back, you get on that little part you scratch your back. So was, I'm just giving an example. So it rubbed up against that and it snatched off a chunk of the wall, the back of my hand. That's why I still say it was weird that I didn't get the back of my hand scratched up or whatever. So yeah, so when I finished, I kind of just called my manager, let him know what's going on. And I'm finishing trying to get the the, the container. I want the fight, the lift. I know I wasn't going to win because they had already beat me up. But at least I would have been trying. So I really wanted to fight that lift. But I called my manager. I told him what was going on. I ended up going to the hospital. They did an x-ray. Well, mind you, I'm sitting up here. I'm like, I can't leave the container. I mean, I can, but I can't. Because I'm already here and when it felt right to me. So I'm like, let me try to get this container. So I'm getting the container with one hand. One hand. But I wasn't doing nothing but just pre preparing myself just in case I got to the hospital. And I had a broken hand. Then I would have had to use one hand for a good little while. So I was just kind of preparing myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, So I went to the hospital and everything. They took an x-ray. And nothing was broken, nothing fractured, nothing like that. It was just some swollen tissue. So they sent me home with um, some ibuprofen and um, my ice pack and just told me to put ice on the four to six times a day. Blah, 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 blah. Here we are about, let's see, four days later. Four days later, I'm still a little sore. You know what I'm saying? But I can do like this. Now, I wasn't able to do that before. You know, I can bend my hands in the beginning and everything like that, but... I couldn't squeeze this. Ooh, and nobody could touch my hand. You feel me? Nobody could touch my hand because, like, my hand was hurting me so bad. I was like a big old baby. I was. And y'all please excuse me. Like, I'm sniffling and going on. I don't know. The other day, I feel like I, my sinus was bothering me. And then the next day, it felt like I was sick. So, I've been taking some medicine, trying to get over whatever it is. And I've been having like a runny nose and uh, tightness or just up in my nostrils and everything. And yeah, at this point, it ain't sinus no more. It's a little cold or something. Nothing major, but I've been taking something for it and I'm getting better because I was a little bit worse off yesterday. But I'm getting better, so. That is A plus. Yay. No, we haven't uploaded no videos in a while. Um we have been really busy i try it's a lot going on you know i do a lot of managing like instagrams and things like that and tiktok yeah y'all gonna follow me on tiktok do that um i'll put all the information down in the description box so y'all go do that go follow me on tiktok um i got like two instagrams if y'all haven't went to follow them yet um i'll put those in the description box um yeah that's it that's pretty much that's what i wanted to come and to talk to y'all about i have some more videos coming soon guys i got to get with it get with the program and that's about it babies thank y'all for watching this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you hit your post notification bell so you'll be aware every time we upload a video i'm trying to get back to it i know i got a request about um a updated bbl video honey if you're watching this i got you coming soon i've been a real i've been like very very busy lately but i got you coming soon um i can't give you a specific date but i got you coming soon okay trust me i got you i will see y'all in my next video bye